Hi, everyone. Welcome to Agency Rainmaker TV. This is where we look at how do small to mid-sized agencies make it rain. And that means bringing in the clients. So very excited. We have Hillary Billings as our guest today. Hillary, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Very fine. Where are you, Hillary? <laughs> I am at a horse stable in Las Vegas. It has been one of those days where we're running around like crazy. So we're doing podcast interviews out in the wild. It's like uh, my mom used to say, were you raised in a barn? Yes, I was. Yes. Okay. Yes, the, it is happening. This is a live well, feed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're you're no stranger to being on TV. You'll tell us some about that today. But uh, let's talk about who. Who do you serve, Hillary? Yeah, so we serve mission-driven messengers, entrepreneurs, and personal brands through our agency, Attentioneers. Okay. Um, now, you have a background in how you started that. Sh share your background with us a little. It was, uh, I, I have essentially been the cat with nine lives is what we like to say. So I originally got my degree in psychology before I was an agency owner. I was a content creator, a full-time content creator for Facebook Watch, TikTok, Instagram Reels. Before that, I was a personal brand strategist. And prior to that, my, my first real career out of college was working as a journalist and on-camera hostess for years. USA Today, uh, producer for E! News, hosting red carpets, award shows, behind the scene interviews, and doing lots of content with celebrities. And it was right around the 2020 pandemic when I was approached by one of the largest Facebook watch publishers, bigger than the Dodo, bigger than Board Panda, who was interested in having me come on to do my own Facebook watch channel. So my, my co-founder and my life partner and I at the time were like, sure, this sounds great. I knew how to make amazing content through video and how to write great hooks of content for USA Today. He was a professional billboard charting musician. Clearly, we knew what it meant to make great content. This was going to be easy to turn over to video. And we found that we were absolutely wrong. We spent, <laughs> we spent nine months just banging our heads against the wall, trying to get any sort of short form video to work. We were copying everything we saw very popular influencers doing. None of it was working. It was so frustrating. We thought that it was maybe us. People didn't want to watch us do the content or we didn't have what it took. And we finally had to hit this moment of we either need to figure this out or we have to do something else because we're losing money now trying to make short form video. So we spent a weekend and we watched thousands of viral videos and we studied content that we were trying to replicate or what was going to be the genres that we would be doing. So prank videos, hack videos, recipe videos, anything and everything we could get our hands on. And then we just started an Excel sheet and we didn't know exactly what was working in these videos. So instead of trying to take it personally or trying to judge it on our own, we just inputted all the data we could find. What's happening at second one? What's happening at second three? What's happening at second five? What are they wearing? How long is the video? What are the camera angles? What are the edits? What are the captions? Are there hashtags? What time of day did they post? Is there music? Anything and everything that we thought might play a part in the success of the video. And what we came to find out was that videos going viral, videos being able to hold somebody's attention actually wasn't accidental whatsoever. In fact, there was a lot of key components that continued to be throughout every single video that we saw work and do well. And so we applied those learnings to our next video. That next video did 5 million views. Mm -hmm. The video after that did 10 million views. We would go on, we go from nine months of zero views to over a billion organic views in the next 12 months. We built my social media following from zero to 400,000 followers in 40 days. It's over doubled since then. And we now sit on TikTok's agency advisory board as well. So we, we eventually got out of full-time content creation because it wasn't what fulfilled us. We love helping people to be seen and especially those that have a mission, that have a message and have the ability to help others and helping them to connect with their target audience. So now that's what we do through short form content strategy. We help them to make reels, short form videos, whether it's for YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, Facebook reels, TikToks, whatever platform they want to leverage it uh, and really understanding the science and psychology of attention. 
The Science and Psychology of Attention. I, yeah. You shared some great tips with me for my Forbes.com readers on that. And I just yeah. encourage anybody who want to, who wants to go a little deeper, um, Google uh, Forbes.com, Henry DeVries, Hillary Billings, and that article will come up for you. Uh, some great advice. Now, let's talk about the advice you're giving your, your clients. And would you say that who again? I liked how you phrased it. I wanted to... Um, yeah, on that. we we work with mission driven messengers, entrepreneurs and personal brands specifically. We also do a lot of consulting for agencies or uh, corporate brands as well. But our primary demographic is mission driven messengers and personal brands. Yeah. So I've, I've heard it put different ways. Uh, people who are in the business of expertise or mm -hmm. uh, experts or uh, all sorts of things. But it's people if I'm getting this right and correct me. It's yeah. people who sell their their time and talent and their wisdom and they provide it to others. Uh, am I tracking right? Yeah, it could a personal brand could really be a, a, the industry that you're in could be far reaching, right? You could be a real estate agent. We work with mortgage brokers, lawyers, anything that's service based industry. You could have a course, a speaker, an author. Anybody that has a message has a desire to help people in a particular way. Um, that's who we love to work with. People that really have a calling for what they're doing and why they do what they do. Uh, and that's that's the ethos for where we love to build around because we know that we can help them make content that's compelling, that's authentic to who they are, no dancing required, uh, that also is gonna resonate with the audience that they're trying to target. Hillary, you are just a soundbite machine. Uh, <laughs> I love it. So uh, talk about the what you do for these clients. Yeah, so we help them with, you know, build their reach and their revenue through short form video strategies. So we're focused on how to take their message, how to make compelling and captivating content, bite size and digestible. That's going to not only attract the right target audience to so the right avatar that they want to have, that they want to work with, um, but that's also going to set them up for that viewer, that consumer to take the final step and want to maybe either whether it's, you know, buying the product, buying the book or downloading the course or working with them one-on-one -on -one or, uh, you know, leveraging their services. We want to help the people that that we work with become known in their space and be considered the industry expert for what they do. And so we do that through short form video, but there's a lot of personal brand strategy that goes into that overall. So let's talk about your offerings, if you will. So I think I know you do a boot camp, and you, I think you do some, well, why don't you explain how you offer this? Yeah, we work with clients in a variety of ways. Uh, like kind of the, the I mean, one of the, the main ways that we first get introduced to people is through keynote speaking or workshops or trainings. I just got back from a, a two and a half week tour all over the country for uh, a mortgage company that had us speak at their regional conferences to all of their brokers. Uh, but we usually start with our half day virtual boot camp, which is our soup to nuts. This is how our process for how we got our billion views. Here's everything that you need in order to make that happen. We do breakout sessions. Um, we provide some one-on-one -on -one intervention trainings. And then from there, uh, you know, if you wanted to continue to work with us and we handhold you through the process, we've got a group coaching offering with a, a minimum of a three month commitment, but we do that just because we know it takes that much time to get somebody started and moving forward with their content um, where we meet with them bi-weekly. We do fishbowl sessions. They've got a community where we're putting in tips and tricks and trends and all of our templates and they're able to help each other be accountable. And then on the, the far reaching side, we have a done for you service where you fly to us, we fly to you. And you know the problem that we're really helping you solve is time. So we're helping you make 52 videos, either in a day or a day and a half. We take all that footage. We do a lot of pre-work with you. We're mapping everything out. We're helping to make the content as compelling as possible. We're filming everything for you. We take that content to our army of editors. We get you all that content back within a couple weeks and you're all set to then start posting. And depending upon your posting schedule, if you're only posting a video a week, you've now got videos for the rest of the year. So um, we find that that service has been 
really valuable for a lot of industry professionals who know that they need to be doing short form video, who know that's where they want to get a hold of their audience, don't necessarily have the time or the desire to learn how to do it themselves because that's not where they want to be spending their time. And we come in to help them solve that problem. It's like a SWAT team where the commandos, the video commandos arrive, the A team. Uh, okay. That's did right. you also, did you, one of your things you said, was it, was it a marketing intervention? Did I hear you right? Uh, well, we'll, we'll do interventions, uh, like, or, uh, little breakouts where we, uh, highlight or spotlight somebody within the boot camp. So we'll do one-on-one -on -one work with them. Okay. Yeah. It kind of sounded like, uh, you know, you're going to walk in a room and we've been yes. very worried about your marketing. We care about your we marketing, have... but yeah, we, we need to talk. Okay. Yeah, but you know, I, to be fair, like we we are incredibly passionate about that. There's so much bad information out on the internet right now about how to do short form video and a lot of focus on things that don't really matter or don't matter as much as the ideation and the engineering of, of the video process. And I don't think that anybody's meaning to lead anyone astray. I think it's just because they don't have the experience of being content creators. And that's really what our uniqueness is as an agency as we started as viral video content creators. And we've been able to make and engineer videos for a variety of genres. So we don't just have experience in one field. We have it in pretty much any type of <laughs> short form content and across any platform where even though we've got a lot of deep ties to TikTok, we're very platform agnostic. And we do believe that if you engineer a video correctly, regardless of where you put it, it will do well. And regardless of what time of day you post or what hashtags you use, it should do well um, because it's it's the content itself and the integrity of the content that allows it to propagate. So that's our mission. And what we're really passionate about is helping people make better content that earns attention uh, that's constructed and engineered in a way to, for people to want to keep watching it. And in an era where the average person is served between 6,000 and 10,000 ads every single day, where 20 million new videos are being posted to social media every single day, and our attention spans are getting shorter and shorter, that we no attention is no longer deserved it's earned and so that's what we like to help our clients do is knowing that they have a desire to get in front of their audience they have a message that their audience needs to hear and value that they need to add to them we help them to construct content in such a way that adds the most value and allows them to have the most compelling content for conversions may i pay you a compliment please <laughs> i love i'm very impressed with uh your you have a dual niche strategy, I would call it. And one is who you serve. You're very mm. clear on that. And uh, the language you use is unique about it. And when you expanded, uh, you can understand that. The second thing is you're very niche in your offering. Um, yeah. You know, you didn't say, and we don't do ads. You know, we don't do print ads. We don't do, uh, you know, TV commercials. We don't do, there's all these things, but there's this one specific thing you do. Yeah. And- it sounds like you do it better than anyone I've ever heard of. So thank you for thank you. that. Um, next question is, how do you make it rain? How do you get clients for your uh, unique agency? A lot of our clients thus far have all been referrals. We're very lucky to be very plugged into a lot of networks and communities of personal brands and our background and our results. You know, I, I think that anybody that's looking to start a business, it's very telling what people naturally come to ask you for help and advice for. And so when we were content creators, we would get approached all the time about people wanting help and advice or guidance on how to make better content because it was something that they struggled with. And we had a lot of deep relationships within the personal branding space. So I think for starters, we we really lucked out. And not only that we were really good at what we did, but it was evident to others. And, and so the pain points, that problem initially drove people to us. Uh, and it's been a lot of iterations since then. Now we drive a lot of leads through speaking and through doing workshops for bigger corporations and coming in to help talk about the principles of the psychology of attention and the science behind virality and the science behind how to keep someone's attention earn it in this day and age. And then that kind of being a great introductory point to somebody then wanting to work with us or scheduling a strategy call to learn more. So that's been the primary way that we've been driving business thus far, as well as going on podcasts and doing media interviews and, and continuing to, to share our message and our value add to the world. What's funny, I, I think kind of ironic, is we haven't actually started 
our social media channels for the business yet. We've got our plan. We know what we're doing for it, but we've been so focused on building the company and we know how much consistency is required in order to have that build to the level that we wanted to. It's been something that's been uh, very strategically put on hold for the time being, but that is on the docket for next steps as to how to start bringing in more people to us. Consistency is a challenge because you also have to send that message out there because you want clients to be consistent. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you've got to uh, demonstrate, you got to preach what you practice. So exactly. Uh, brava for that and brava for being strategic on, we can't do it all, all at once. Correct. Um, oh, well, except for that movie, <laughs> everything, everywhere. everywhere, all at once. Yes. All, everywhere, all at once. I love that title. Okay. Um, so thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for taking time out. Uh, obviously busy schedule and, um, you know, it's very inspiring what you're doing. So keep thank it up. You. Thank you much. Thank so this you has so been much another, for Oh, you're welcome. This has been another episode of Agency Rainmaker TV. And until next time, make it rain.